What's going on everybody? Adam here with the trailer Today we're going to be taking a look at the trailer dome light with a switch for your enclosed trailers. This is going to be an interior light for your enclosed trailers. It's going to be great for when you just need a little bit more light. It gives off a nice warm look so it's not really a really white light. And it isn't going to be LED so what we need is an incandescent bulb. This is going to be bulb type 1141. If you already have this and you need a replacement, we have some on our website. So if it does eventually go out, you don't have to worry. E trailer takes care of you. So it's just pop on lens right here. It's a white lens, as you can see here. So it's a nice clean look. And it does have a nice aluminum frame to it. Our actual lens is going to be about five and seven eighths inch in diameter, and it's going to stick off your wall about an inch and a half. So if you have some two by fours like we do on our wall, it's not going to stick out any farther than that, which is always a plus. So you're not going to bump into it or anything like that. The mounting holes on center is going to be about four and three quarters of an inch. And this is going to be for your 12 volt DC systems. It's going to pull about 0.4 amps, and it is a one wire system. What does that mean? Well, if you stick around, we're gonna go ahead and install it and show you how it installs and you'll see what I'm talking about. First thing we wanna do is figure out where we want our light. I want it right here and then you need to run your wires and if they're already there, great, check that off the list. So what we're gonna need is a positive and negative wire. So what we have on our light here is just gonna be this one here. This is gonna go to positive. So once we get it to positive, what we're gonna do is since there's only one wire, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little connector and go on our negative wire. And then whenever we go ahead and mount it down, that's gonna be our ground. So let's go ahead and start with that. We'll start with the ground and we'll take it off like this. Make sure to twist these together. And if you do not have these connectors at home, we do have them here at E-Trailer. So it's a one-stop shop. You don't gotta go anywhere. Just grab it when you grab your lights. Grab your tool. We'll make sure and clamp this down nice and tight. Just like that. All right. Give it a good tug. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then what we can do is we will take our only wire here, and it's already split for us. Let's pull that off. Strip your other wire, twisty, twisty. And then I usually like to start with one side, put it in, crimp it down just on that one side. Just like that. Give it a little pull, make sure it's nice and snug. And we'll do the same exact thing with this side. All right. So now that's that's done, make sure it's nice and tight. Again, it's always smart to triple check your connections just like that. I gave it a tug and it wasn't perfectly snug. So give it another little round to make sure it's nice and connected so we don't have to redo this later because that's always just time consuming and just unnecessary so put in the time now make sure it's nice and good to go and then we're ready to mount this to our wall so now what we want to do is take our ground wire put it on our little screw. The screws are not included, so just use a self-tapper if you're going into the frame or whatever kind of screws you have laying around, really. Whatever's just gonna get it nice and secured down. And then we can go ahead and fish all of our wires back in there, make it nice and tidy. Just like that. And what I'm gonna do is utilize one of the holes that we already had here. Just like that. And then you can tighten it down. 
especially where the ground wire is. We want to make sure it's nice and snug. Just like that. So before we completely secure this down, it would be nice to go ahead and check to see if it works. So I'm going to flip the switch and it works, cool. So now we're just gonna go ahead and complete mounting it down and we are almost done. Now that's all mounted down. Make sure that the switch works and it does and we are ready to go. All in all, I like having a switch on a light. Whenever I turn the lights on in the enclosed trailer, a lot of these lights are just hardwired in, so they all come on. Sometimes you need a little bit more light, sometimes you need a little bit less light with this. Depending on where you're working in and how big your trailer is, it's nice to be able to turn it on and off. One thing I don't like about it is incandescent bulbs. I'm just a big LED guy. If you're putting a lot of lights in your enclosed trailer and you're worried about how much you're gonna draw off your battery, LED is the way to go, but if that's not something you're concerned with, this is gonna do a good job for you. And that'll do it for a look at the trailer dome light with switch, and I'm Adam with e-trailer.